Hello everyone, as the new school year is about to get underway, here are some quick getting to know you activities to use in your classes. We start with the classic two truths and a lie. For some teachers I know this is their go-to icebreaker, which is one of the reasons why it's not mine, because I like to be different. Uh, quite simply, you start this icebreaker by showing three sentences about yourself. So for me, I went to school with a famous TV star, I've lived in five countries, and I speak four languages. Now two of these sentences are true and one is a lie. The students need to guess which is true and which is a lie. Unfortunately, the lie here is that I don't speak four languages, and just in case you're wondering, I went to sixth form with Kit Harrington, better known as Jon Snow in the Game of Thrones series, and yes, I'm sure some of his teachers told him he knows nothing. Once you've demonstrated this activity, get students to write their own three sentences and then pair them up to guess which of their sentences is a lie. Change the pairings a few times and then come back together as a class. My go-to getting to know you game I call reverse questions. In this game, I write some information about me on the board like 35, Worcester UK, 3, Manchester United. I tell students that these are the answers to questions about me, but I want to know what the questions are. They guess questions and I cross off the information as they get it correct. So maybe they ask me, where are you from? Is Worcester UK? Um, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Is 3. Next, I want the students to do the same, so I tell them to write five to eight pieces of information, depending on their level. Then with a partner, they try to guess the questions. The beauty of this is that you get a good idea of what structures students can actually make. Um, and it can also make a good lead-in as well. If you want to teach a lesson about Mount Everest, for example, you could include facts like Nepal, 8,848 meters, 1953, students can then come up with the questions like, in what year did the first person climb Everest? Another great activity is to have students make guesses about their partner, such as whether they do a lot of sport, whether they enjoy reading or can bake a cake. To do this, give some statements about you and have students guess if they're correct or not. Then, give students a list of statements to decide if they're correct about their partner or not. Then students can ask each other to check. Note that students do need to know who their partner is in order to guess. So, if you're doing this in the classroom, that's simple. It's probably the person sat next to them. If it's online, you might want to put them into breakout rooms, first of all, so they know who their partner will be when they ask questions. This is one for the classroom. Hand around either a roll of toilet paper or a bag of sweets. The roll of toilet paper is simply because it's wackier. Tell each student to take between one and five sheets of paper or sweets. Put students in groups and have them tell each other that number of interesting facts about themselves. So the ones who took more um, sweets will have to say more facts. This is another fun question-based game. Firstly, you need a student to either go out of the room or sit with their back to the board. Agree a question with the other students or write it on the board. The person in the chair or coming back into the room should ask each student what their answer is and try to guess the question. So for example, if a student's just come into the room, they ask uh, a student, what's your answer? And they say, porridge and they ask another one and they say toast and then they try to guess the question which is what did you have for breakfast this morning? My last activity is another question based activity which I really love. This one I've mainly used in the classroom but it's possible to adapt it for online which I'll explain how to do in a moment. For the classroom version give each student a piece of paper and at the top have students write their name. Students should then pass the paper to the person on their left. Make sure that you set up an order in the classroom 
so that every student passes their paper to someone different. This is easiest to do if students just sit in one big circle. The students now write a question for the person whose name is at the top of the paper and next to it they write their own name. For example, I could write, do you like tennis or have you been to France and then Alex. Again, students pass the paper to their left and each student writes a question until the paper gets back to the student whose name is at the top. To help students think of questions, um, you could show them some question stems that they can use. When students have their paper back, they should go and find the person who wrote each question and tell them their answer. To make this work for an online group, you can prepare the students by having them first list the students in their group down the left hand side of a piece of paper, then next to each name they can write a question for that person. Once they've done this, you could send them to breakout rooms and move people around until they've spoken to just about everybody. Alternatively, you can use a platform like Spatial Chat, where students can move around the room in the same way they would a classroom. This may be a bit more of a learning curve, but it's worth doing if you like to do mingle activities with your students. If you're doing this, don't forget to tell students to mute their microphones on any other platform that you're using. Either way, if you're doing this activity online, the person who wrote the questions will be the one to ask them to the person they wrote them for, and that person will give their answer. So there you go, six quick and easy getting to know you activities for your class this year. Thanks for watching, and please do uh, like, share, and subscribe if you found it useful or share your favourite getting to know you activity in the comments below.